Steve, you led over 23 horses in the Kentucky Derby prior to Epicenter. You laugh. Why do you laugh at that? I don't mean it any certain way. Well, I, I feel it a certain way. I really do. And sitting here at 0 for 24. But reflecting on this year's Derby and Epicenter, I just felt like he was prepared and he was going to win and loved where he was at, loved how he handled, loved everything but the last few jumps. Lo and behold, here comes Rich Strike. And he's a deserving winner of the Kentucky Derby that wasn't meant to be. I was told by somebody that after each Kentucky Derby, you will stay and watch the Winter Circle's presentation. Why do you do that? I want it. It's uh... a hail to the victor thing. If you're in horse racing, you're a ridiculous optimist. I mean, you you know, the scenarios you work out in your head and the, all the dreaming, it always ends up with you on top. That's what we're in it for. My favorite moment, though, after this year's Kentucky Derby was seeing you immediately after. And the first words you said to me were, we are blessed to have this horse. The reality of it is, I, I don't want to trade places with anybody. I know how fortunate I am to have Epicenter. He's so blue collar. I mean, he, he's just so beautifully consistent. Mm -hmm. His attitude, his appetite, his energy uh, is hard to match. With that being said, the Preakness is a huge test on our 14-day turnaround. What was your initial reaction when you found out Rich Strike would not be running in the Preakness, passing to run in the Belmont? Surprise, a little bit of disappointment. I mean, we're here to compete. I, I understand their position and everything. But I, I hope to run against Rich Strike again with Epicenter. You want a rematch? Who doesn't? After the Kentucky Derby finish and disappointment, what would a Preakness victory provide? A lot of redemption. We need to win it, you know, we just need to. You know, we have a horse of this quality, he needs to win the Preakness. Why do you say that? Why does he need to? Because I believe he's good enough and I want other people to feel the way that we do about it.